Hello, this is part one in a two video series on downloading data from Bloomberg and using that data in Excel. What you're looking at is a slide from class. These are the six regression models we went through. The first is the PE ratio as a function of growth, dividend, payout ratio, and beta. The second is price to sales as a function of growth, dividend, payout ratio, beta, and profit margin. So that's PE and PS as my Y variables and growth dividend payout ratio beta as my x variables for the PE and growth dividend payout ratio beta and profit margin for my PF. The last four uh, models are the PB uh, regression models. The first is, is including ROE, the second is including um, ROE broken out into three factors and the last breaks ROE out into five factors. The last PB uh, model is um, tying an industry factor um, to the model, which I will get into later. And on that note, I wanted to mention the Bloomberg function BI. This page will give you those specific industry factors to help you select an important vari variable in your extensive PV regression. Also, another important point is that when you have your X variables identified, let's say you have five variables, you add three to that number to get eight, which indicates how many companies you will need to run the regression. So that's eight U.S. companies. So we will go ahead and open up Bloomberg, and we will retrieve the data, data that we need for the P.E. regression, which is P.E. ratio, growth, dividend payout ratio, and beta. So when we open up Bloomberg, we will type in our company's ticker symbol. Um, I'm go going to be using ExxonMobil, uh, XOM, and Bloomberg autocorrects for you. Then we have um, the screen that pops up, and we will be using the Bloomberg function RV, which stands for relative value, which is um, where we do our comparables analysis. So in here, this is where we'll be be building our custom screens. As you can see, Bloomberg has some pre-built models up top, and so we're going to click on custom. And in our case, uh, we do not need market cap, so we delete that column, and we do not need ticker, and we delete that column. And in addition, we will select stats, and make sure average is deselected, and we will update. And so we'll begin building our model. Um, so first is PE, so PE price to earnings ratio and we will use current and enter next we need the dividend payout ratio and here we do not have current so we will use latest filing enter next is beta so I type in beta and we will be using the one year beta enter and lastly is the growth rate we will be using Bloomberg's estimate of long-term growth of earnings and we'll use current year or I'm sorry current year enter and so now I have my Y variable and my X variables few things I will need to uh, pull in to polish off my regression is last price last price and, and since we're running the PE regression I will also um, pull in earnings per share so that's basic earnings per share and I'll use trailing 12 month enter and so now that I have this data before I output it to Excel, I want to save as, and I will save it as PE regression. And it does not let you type all the way, but it looks good enough. PE regress, let's save, overwrite, OK. Now this, uh, next time I come into the RV function, I will have my uh, saved custom tabs up top. And also I wanted to mention um, edit comparables gives you the option to deselect certain companies whether or not they have um, all your relevant data and also um, if they are non-US you do not want to use them so you would deselect them so let's save I'll go ahead and output to Excel so output Excel I select yes and there we go uh, our data is now downloaded now I want to copy and paste special 
um, copy and I will paste special and paste values um, there's code behind uh, the data that was retrieved so we now need to make it um, workable so now with this data um, we can begin to run our PE regression which will be shown in um, video 2 so r right away let's um, jump to uh, the P, uh, PB regression and we will go into Bloomberg and as you can see we're back to our same page let's create a new template and again we do not need market cap delete and we do not need ticker delete and so now we can begin so price to book just like we did for price to earnings we will be doing price to book ratio current enter and that is a function of long-term growth so we'll type in long-term growth and we will use best estimate and we will use current year next is dividend payout ratio as you, dividend payout ratio and we will select latest filing actually a correction we do not want latest filing um, we're gonna want latest year in this case so when you come to the screen let's select latest year instead next is beta so we will type in beta and we will select one year as we did with the PE ratio enter and now for the new variables um, we'll type in tax burden tax burden and we will select latest filing enter next I will start typing in interest burden interest burden latest filing then I will begin typing, typing operating margin latest filing I will begin typing asset turnover now asset turnover latest filing and lastly I will type in leverage Bloomberg labels this as financial leverage latest filing so as you can see we have a lot of data um, loaded and again uh, like we did for the PE regression I will type in last price just a few more things to pull in last price and then I will type in book value per share so book value per share book value per share and I will choose latest filing and for example if I was doing my price to sales regression I would be pulling in uh, price uh, sales per share or revenue per share I will go ahead and save as PB regression save already exists okay so now I can go ahead and toggle between the two models I have just created we will go ahead and output to Excel I will go ahead and say yes and there we go we have our data for our PB regression and remember to just copy and paste special and values again to get rid of that code and again I wanted to refer to the last PB regression um, which includes the industry factor so if you go into Bloomberg and type in Bloomberg code FA for financial analysis and click additional here we can um, evaluate and analyze factors that are um, leading to either growth or um, a fall in revenue. Um, these factors can lead to a uh, valuation. And within in this function, we can also type in a company such as Apple. Um, they will have different factors. And most importantly, when using these industry factors, we have to make sure that they have a significance level that um, meets the uh, p-value and the test statistic for that to be uh, significant. And that completes um, the video. Thank you.